Hey guys, Tech Triple Video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix your iMessage or FaceTime being grayed out on your iPhone. So if you go into your setting of your iPhone and you see under messages, if iMessage is grayed out and so is FaceTime where it doesn't allow you to actually turn it on, here's a couple things that you want to do to fix that issue. So let's get started. The very first thing is going ahead and closing out the settings app and iMessage and FaceTime app if you have them open. So slide up your finger and just simply close out all the apps. And if you have a lot of apps, I recommend just closing it out and then simply relaunch the settings app. And hopefully by now, if you just simply go into your messages, it's not grayed out anymore and it's working for your FaceTime and iMessage. Now, that might be really simple and easy. It's a, worth a try to give to see if that fixes the problem. Now, the next thing you want to do is go ahead and pull down the menu from the top here and put your phone on airplane mode briefly and then turn off airplane mode. And what that does is basically does a quick network refresh so that if you have any connectivity issue impacting FaceTime and iMessage, which requires internet, it will fix that issue for you. Now, after you have done that, it's still not working. It's time to go into your setting of your iPhone. This time, go to general, go all the way down here, which says transfer reset iPhone. You click on the first option to reset and then we are going to do a reset and network setting. So if you do a network reset setting, this will come up with, will reset things or will relate to your network setting. So saved Wi-Fi, Bluetooth connected devices, any VPN setting as well. But it will not delete any of your personal data like photos, videos, apps. Everything will still be there, but it's required to do that in order to test fix your connectivity of your iPhone. And hopefully after you do that, your iMessage and FaceTime is working again. Make sure that once you do a network refresh, you have to reconnect your Wi-Fi again if you're using Wi-Fi or make sure your cellular data is working up top with your carrier. Now, after you have done that and it's still not working, the next thing you want to check out for your iPhone is there is no screen time restriction. So in your setting of your iPhone, under screen time, under content and uh, privacy restrictions, you want to ensure that all of this, again, is not turned on. I recommend going under allowed apps. If Make sure that these are turned on. I, For example, FaceTime here needs to be turned on. If this is turned off, it will not work. If you want to really you know, make sure that nothing is blocking it, just turn off content and privacy restriction and see if iMessage and FaceTime is working for you now. Now, after you have done that and still not working, the next thing to do is go into your setting of your iPhone, right? If you go into setting of your iPhone, and this is going to be something if in a case that that you're still seeing that these are still grayed out, or if one of them is grayed out and not the other, is to go ahead and see if you can turn on and off for them. So this is going to be Let's say if you can do it, but if it's grayed out, maybe one is grayed out, maybe the other isn't, try turning it on and off, and that will reactivate the both of the services. Now, after you have done that, you're going to want to do a force restart. So how do you do a force restart? It's going to be really simple. You're going to press and release the volume up, press and release the volume down, one after another. Finally, you'll hold the side button until the screen goes completely black, and then you'll let go once you see the Apple logo. So I'll do volume up, volume down, and then I hold the side button until the screen goes completely black, just like that. As you can see here, we're not going to slide to power off. We're going to wait till the screen goes completely black. And then we should see the Apple logo reappear. And then we let go of that button just like that. And hopefully after you have done this, it will have your FaceTime and iMessage working. Now, this method will not delete any of your personal data. So all of your photos, videos, apps, and everything will still be on your iPhone. You don't have to worry about that. Now, if it's still not working, the next thing you want to check in your iPhone is under settings, general, your date and time. So the date and time has to match your local time. So you see there's a time up here. If it doesn't match your local time because you're traveling or moved to a different location, the different time zone, you need to adjust that either manually by turning off automatically and then manually changing it, but you eventually want to come back to have it to set automatically because that's the best way to set the date and time because by default, it should know where your location is and adjust it for you, but it has to be accurate in order for iMessage and FaceTime to work correctly. Now, after you have done that, the very last thing you can do is to see if it's a bug or something that Apple 
release the update for. In order to do that, go into, again, your settings. You're going to go general, software update, and it's going to check for if there's an update available. If there is, it's going to show up just like this. You're going to click on update now. Give yourself about half an hour to 45 minutes whenever you're doing any software update. Make sure your phone is at least 50% or more charged. And once you have done that, it should allow you to go ahead and oh, go ahead and allow you to be able to use FaceTime and iMessage after you update your phone. And that's it for fixing your FaceTime and iMessage being grayed out or not working on your iPhone. I hope this video was helpful. If so, please make sure to like and subscribe button. And if you found a better way to fix the problem, leave a comment in the comment section as well sharing your experience. Thanks for watching, guys. See you guys next time.